What's going on guys, my name is Francis Bo here to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on anything going on in the world of entertainment and um, uh, yeah we have some interesting news to talk about today regarding the DCEU, the DC Extended Universe. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about it today. Um, before we get down with that, I just want to state, first off, if you guys are noticing where the hell is my hat, um, I recently got a haircut so I'm just trying to show off. Also, I can't find my hat, so. Um, First, that's the first thing that I want to say. Second, um, if you guys are expecting a review for Insidious, uh, don't expect it because I just I didn't really care to go see it. I didn't really care. Um, never been a big fan of the, of the of that horror genre. I, I haven't been a huge fan of the Insidious movies. I just none of them really grab me. Like none of them make, none of them make me go, ooh, I want to go see that. You know, so they never really grab me. So. Um, it did well at the box office, though. So, um, yeah. So, without, with that all out the way, I just want to make a few things. Like, you know, I got a haircut, so if you guys are wondering why my hair looks different, or I also sh trimmed down my beard as well, so if you guys are wondering why I look a little bit different, there's why. Um, and also, I'm not doing an Insidious review. I'm just not. Um, but anyways, let's get down with the DC stuff, because there was actually a major um, thing that happened a couple days ago I was going to do a video about it, but then I thought to myself, eh, I shouldn't really do a video about it. But then I thought about it more and I was like, you know, I actually should do a video about it because it actually is a pretty big thing that happened. Um, uh, if you guys don't know, um, Warner Brothers Pictures has been recently been doing some, um, um, some um, overhaul. They've been doing some massive changes uh, ever since Justice League got released. And, um, they pr made a pretty big change, uh, in the chain of command. And, um, they recently announced who their new official DC Films head is going to be. And that is going to be, uh, Walter Hamada. And, uh, Walter Hamada, he, uh, we'll talk more about what he, what he's done in terms of credits, um, in terms of, like, you know, in the film, film business, um, but uh, let me first say this, um, it's great that they finally have a head person on this. I think that that's, I think that's the first thing that, that, that's, that makes me happy because, um, let, we can all be honest here, I don't think that they've actually had a head on this. Um, I think they've had multiple people that have brought in judgment and brought in, um, you know, brought in certain things for this for this franchise but there's never been one central guy there's been multiple people like uh ben affleck um jeff johns um a lot of the, a lot of other directors but there's never been a head person there's never been a guy the the one guy like i hate to say it but you know the like kevin feige of the dceu um we haven't had that guy and now we do and that's walter hamada um, and, um, in terms of what Walter Hamada has done, he's actually done some good work. Uh, he's, he's, a uh, he's, ex he's worked extensively as a producer. Um, so that's, that's good news in my head. Um, he's produced a lot of, uh, good stuff. He's produced, um, um, The Conjuring, which was, um, which is a pretty successful franchise. Uh, Final Destination, um, Annabelle, and also, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, he also served as a producer on this year's horror, this year's um, big hit in the horror genre, and that was it. Um, so this guy's been gotten. This guy got has gotten a lot of credits as a producer, a lot of good credits as a producer, and also a key thing to note is that it's a lot of horror films as well. And uh, let's um, let's keep in mind here. This is this is why I believe this is this is the right person. This is why I believe this is a good choice as the head of the DCEU. Let's look at our DCEU, like, um, film slate right now. We have Aquaman coming out in 2018, and we have Shazam in 2019. That's pretty much all we have so far. I mean, I know that there's news about Wonder Woman 2 still about happening and such, but I'm talking about the movies that are, like, we know for a fact that they're going to happen, and those two are Aquaman and Shazam. What do those two films have in common? Both of them are being directed by horror directors. James Wan 
and David F. Sandberg. And um, coincidentally, um, coincidentally, guys, um, he has actually has pretty good connections with these guys. Because uh, Hamada, remember, he played a key player in uh, The Conjuring, which, of course, was, was from James Wan. And also Annabelle. So, so and that was from... Uh, I, I don't think Annabelle, the first one, was from David F. Sandberg, but uh, Annabelle Creation, I think it was. Um, but this guy knows these two directors. He knows them very, very well. And I think that that's an advantage for this, for, for this franchise, because... Um, it helps with communication. It also helps with, you know, knowing the pe those directors' styles and knowing what they do um, as directors. Um, I think that that's a great thing because now, um, no, now you have a guy that not only is, um, not only a guy who's who's now the head of the DC films, but he's also a guy that is that knows these directors. So. Um, I think that that's a great thing um, for um, this. And that's the big reason why I think that um, this is a great thing. I think that, um, I think they chose a good choice. Um, but, um, yeah, and I think this is their Kevin Feige. I think that this is their Kevin Feige. They've been wait looking for a Kevin Feige. Because if you guys don't know, they've been having a long leadership problem. They They've had no one really as a official studio head they've had a bunch of people um who you know work in these films but you know for a fact are not the heads of this franchise like there's Zack Snyder uh Josh Whedon um David um David Ayer um Ben Affleck Jeff Johns um none of these guys were um none of these guys were the heads they were just the directors they were just there to do their do their job and do their films and we've never had a studio head a person that monitors all this stuff and now we finally do so um i know you guys are probably thinking what about jeff johns why didn't he get appointed well um here's the thing uh jeff johns according to reports uh, he says that he's going to be more of an advisor now which to me is a really really good thing i think that that is a great thing in fact um because um jeff johns is not a filmmaker he is not a filmmaker he is a comic book writer which is not bad at all because jeff john has created some incredible comic books he's creating credits he's created some really good work in the comic book industry but he is not a filmmaker he does not know how to create film and um I think that as an advisor, a person who can like give advice to Walter Hamada to and bring in some story ideas, I think that is I think that that's great for Jeff Johns. And it's also good for him in terms of a comic book writer because if he was the head of the of this whole DCEU, then he wouldn't have time to create any comic book content. So, um I think that it's a win-win. Jeff Johns gets to advise stuff that happens in the DCU. Like he gets to like speak his mind to Walter Hamada and tell him what he thinks should happen with the DCU and give certain story ideas. Walter Hamada is obviously going to be the person that you know makes everything happen. He's the person who's going to is going to now uh, determine what's the future for this franchise. But Jeff Johns is going to like be uh, be as the person that's going to give him ideas and examples of what could happen in the future of this franchise and i think that that's great and uh for jeff johns like i said it's a it's a good thing because he gets to advise while also he gets to write his comic books he gets to write new stories and gets to return back to dc comics so um for me guys i'm really happy i really like this i really like this decision i'm glad that they finally have a person to monitor all this so Whenever the press needs to ask questions about what's going to happen with DCEU, they now have Walter Hamada. They now have him to ask those questions to. Not Zack Snyder, not Josh Whedon, not David Ayer, not Patty Jenkins. It's going to be Walter Hamada from now on because he is the guy who's now going to be the Kevin Feige of, of this DC film slate. So, um, 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk about for a little bit about this whole um, this whole news break that happened and just give you guys, um, you know, my thoughts on it. Um, I'm really glad that they now have a leader. I think that's great. Um, just to run down my points again, the main reason why I think he gets great is because he has great connections with the current film directors. And he also, um, he is also now a head. He is officially the, the, the main leader of this prop, of this project, of this, of this franchise going forward. And Jeff, and also the other great thing about it is that Jeff Johnson can now be an advisor, which means that he can advise stuff that could happen in the DCEU, like give some input, while also going back to what he does best, and that is writing comic books. So, um, yeah, so that is it. That is it for my thoughts on this, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys, let me know what did, what do you guys think? Um, um, what do you guys think the future DC movies are actually going to be now that we now have an official head? Because here's what we have com confirmed, like as as of this video, like we what what we could say, we know for a fact is going to happen. Um, Aquaman, Shazam, and Wonder Woman two. Those three films we know for a fact are going to happen. Um, but what about the ones that they have already announced? Like Batgirl or Black Adam, um, Nightwing. Like, are these films still going to happen or is there going to be changes made by Walter Hamada? Um, you guys let me know. Um, personally, um, if any of the other films that they announced happens, I would love to see Batgirl happen. I'd also really like to see a Nightwing movie. Um, I know there's a Flashpoint movie in the works, but I I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't actually happen. Um, here's what I will say before I leave. Um, the movies that I believe that it's gonna hap that are going to happen, besides Aquaman, Shazam, Wonder Woman 2, we know for a fact that those three are going to be happening. Um, besides those three, if I had to bet on any other films that they're going to do after those three, it's going to be um, the Batman. They're going to do the Batman movie because, you know, Matt Reeves is directing that. And they've had, they have, obviously, Batman's a great, you know, he's a great character. He's a very popular character. So, of course, they're going to do the Batman movie. Um, they're going to probably do a Nightwing movie, a Batgirl movie, and uh, Black Adam. I would say those four films um, would be next if... Um, that's just what I'm predict predicting that Walter Hamada would um would then put in line after Aquaman, Shazam, and Wonder Woman two. But you guys, let me know what do you guys think could be the future of the DCEU now we now that we now have an official DC head and what do you think the future is? Do you think that it's going to we're still going to get all the movies that they have announced, or do you think that Walter Hamada is just going to select a few and start from there? So you guys let me know, and that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, as we end these videos, bow out. See you next time. Peace.